Hello, welcome to the Wildcat Insider, your source for stories from grades 7, 8, and 9. I'm your host, Nina Steele, alongside Ben Amet. Marching band members in grade 8 through 12 traveled to Disney for a fun and memorable trip. Kenzie Bellin shared some highlights. I rode Expedition Everest 10 times and it was insane every single time. At Epcot, I got visited by the paramedics because my blood sugar dropped below 40. Definitely my favorite part of the whole trip was getting to march the band down Main Street, USA. Um, it's a once in a lifetime experience, something that most of these students will never experience again. Um, and it's just cool to think that there were people from all over the world that were watching us. And it was such, you know, on such a, a grand scale, so many people, you know, watching us perform and, and getting to experience that with the students is really special. Um, and, you know, afterwards, having students come to me and say, oh, Miss Richards, it was so cool. It actually, I just started crying in the middle of it. Like that's, that's a really cool experience and I'm glad that I got to um, have that opportunity with the students. Girls wrestling was sanctioned as a sport in Pennsylvania in May 2023, making it the newest addition to the school's winter sports teams. The girls recently wrapped up their inaugural season. Here's Gabby Cunningham with the story. The girls wrestling team started up over the summer with practices that prepared them for what was to come. When they came back in the fall, the team was officially approved as a club sport. Girls wrestling is growing in popularity in Pennsylvania. This past year, they had reached 100 teams in the state, making it an official sport. Coach Ludwig decided Latrobe needed to join these other schools. He realized, you know, this is a big wrestling area and we needed to have a girls team here. So he saw that no one else was stepping up and doing it. So he did it himself. Many preparations went into starting the team, but they weren't all visible. The girls had to learn that wrestling isn't all about physicality. That's just as much of a mental battle as it is a physical one. You have to kind of go into things um, not thinking that you're going to lose, you always kind of have to think that, you know, you're going to win even if you're going up against somebody that's been wrestling way longer than you have. With the right mindset, most of the girls were able to make big strides in their first year of competing. These accomplishments were something that all of them could be proud of, especially their coaches. It takes a lot of confidence and just watching them get out on the mat for the first time at our first tournament, you know, was something huge and, you know, seeing their first pins or the first time they scored, you know, points on a takedown um, was really wonderful to see and, you know, seeing them go as far as they did. Two freshman wrestlers were able to go above and beyond their expectations for the season. Miranda Cantoris and Rowan Lewis both made it to the state championship, a big achievement for their first year on the mat. I'm probably going to be like a, a little more harder on myself next year, especially now because I made it as a freshman for my first year ever wrestling. So I'm definitely going to be like kind of like on top of everything and definitely trying to work harder next year. With one year of experience under their belts, the girls wrestling team is just getting started and is looking for new athletes. If you're interested in learning more, see Coach Fry or Coach Ludwig. Reporting for WCATTV, I'm Gabby Cunningham. As we wrap up the 2023 to 2024 school year, Mallory Schaefer and Ray Fike asked students about their favorite class this year. I'm Mrs. Braden ELA class. Dr. Antolix, be your own boss. Mr. Armstrong's. Miss Astin's. Mrs. Elliott. Miss Sheen. Biology. Woodshop. For today's teacher feature, Tyler Webster and Gio Castillo had a chance to talk to Mrs. Schmeling. I had a lot of teachers that inspired me growing up and it was something that I just thought that I always wanted to do. My first grade teacher, Mrs. Fordyce, was my absolute favorite teacher and she kept in contact with me the whole way through school and was always very encouraging and she was one of the reasons why I decided to become a teacher.
My favorite thing about teaching is just seeing the students every day, seeing them grow and change and um, learn and have, have a good time in phys ed especially. I only really get to see the students in class doing physical activity and how they act and what they do for me. And I love getting to see what they choose as hobbies or other interests or how good they are at other things, um, such as artwork, having things in an art show. Maybe they are writers and they have some type of poem or a story they wanna share. Maybe they take photography or they dance or they do something else that I don't normally get to see in class. I love getting to see that outside. In my free time, I spend mainly all of it with my kids. I have a daughter who's in fifth grade and a son who is three, so I spend a lot of time with them. I love any type of physical activity. I like working out um, when it's nice out, anything outside, kayaking, hiking, walking, running, um, pretty much anything like that. So spending time with my family and physical activity are my main two hobbies. We go to Rylan Linhart for our sports stories. Thanks, Nina. In sports news, Clayton Burkett and Brady Cronenwater asked students to share their favorite school sports memories so far this year. Who? Won the seventh grade oh, basketball okay. team beat Gateway by one point. Wrestling up a weight class and still winning my match. Scoring my first touchdown for the junior high football team. My memory is beating Armstrong in softball and my favorite memories beating dairy and volleyball. When we came back from a 7-0 deficit against Penn Stratford Warriors. Watching Brady fall off a chair. Peppering, Peppering in volleyball. volleyball. My favorite memory on the school soccer team was beating PT. The Paris Olympics are set to begin on July 26th. Angelo Uliano and Carter Long Angelo have an Olympic themed trivia game for you. Finally, with the NBA playoffs underway, Alex Salmon and Joey Kimbley asked students about their favorite players. Josh Giddy, John Wall, Wilt Chamberlain, Trey Young, Kobe, Kobe Bryant, Bryant. <laughs> Lamelo Ball. My favorite is Jaron Jackson Jr. Michael Jordan. That's all for our sports coverage. Back to you, Nina. Thanks, Rylan. In entertainment news, Taylor Swift released the Tortured Poets Department on April 19th. Gabby Roman and I asked students about their favorite song on the album. Florida. So Long London. Fortnite. I Can Do It With A Broken Heart. Down Bad. It's good. <laughs> but Daddy, I love him. I can do it with a broken heart. Fortnite. May 24th is National Tiara Day. Lexi Mealy and Abby Webb asked students and staff which Disney prince or princess they would be. Ariel. Rapunzel. Belle. 
I would be Belle. I would be Rapunzel. Tinkerbell. Mulan. Tiana. I believe I would be Belle. Uh, I would be Moana. Jasmine. Wreck it, Ralph. I would want to be Rapunzel because I want her long blonde hair. I would be Cinderella because she lives a true fairy tale and has a beautiful blue dress. As summer vacation approaches, we go to Nolan Dempsey for more on what students have planned during the break. Thanks, Nina. Ty Wisniewski and Ryan Linhart took to the hallways to find out more about students and teachers' favorite places to go on vacation. Disney and plus, it's a lot of rides and it's fun. British Columbia because of the greenery. Uh, North Carolina because of the beaches. My favorite vacation spot is probably Hawaii because it's very nice. The beach because it's nice. <laughs> I like to go to Myrtle Beach because it's nice. I like to go to Aruba because I like the beaches. My favorite vacation place is anywhere that is warm with water and nobody knows my name and I don't hear Mr. Major 500 times a day. Is it June yet? Florida because it's fun. The Caribbean because it's hot. Today is National Road Trip Day. If you find yourself in a long car ride this summer, Connor Rose and I have some ideas for games you can play. Road trips can be long and boring being stuck in a car for hours on end. Here are some fun game ideas to play in your next road trip. The first option is classic punch buggy. In punch buggy, you and some friends look for Volkswagen Beetles and call out punch buggy and then the color of the car. Goal is to be the first person to spot the car and then punch your friends. Next game is a storytelling game. One person in the car will start telling a made up story. Then the other people in the car have to continue on with that story, but they are only allowed to say 10 words. This should make for some really silly stories. Lastly, we have Guess Who. Somebody in the car is going to think of somebody that everyone knows. Next, all the other family members in the car will take turn asking yes or no questions until they guess who the mystery person is. From hanging out at the pool to traveling on vacation, students and teachers have a variety of plans for this summer. Louis Cicero and Noah Smith have the details. I'm going to England and Greece. Basketball. Fishing, hanging out with the boys. I'm going to go fishing all the time. Uh, baseball at Teener League. All to baseball for travel and Teener League and vacation. Fishing with Mac, Macaulay, Craven, or Patrick III. My summer plans are going golfing and swimming at Noah's. Go beach, go camp. Hail my friend. Baseball. Baseball for chance. Um, this summer I'll probably just be relaxing a lot, reading a lot of books. One local spot where families visit is Attawood Park. Here are Aiden Stairs and Aiken Sepp with some information about this historic local attraction. Idlewild was the, the oldest park in Pennsylvania. A variety of rides from roller coasters to bumper cars. The park was built around trees and wildlife making it look amazing to other parks. The park was founded in 1878. The Scrambler. The Spider. Wild, Wild Mouse. Wild. When purchasing tickets online, you can get them as low as $39.99. We hope everyone has a great summer break. Back to you, Nina. Thanks, Nolan. On Monday, we celebrate Memorial Day. Brock Archer and Rashawn Baker share some interesting facts about the day. Real celebration has been going on since 1867, just two years after the end of the Civil War. Memorial Day, official symbol, the red poppy comes from World War I. The weekend occurred in 1971. Memorial Day, originally known as Decoration Day. Flag is raised to half staff from sunrise until noon and then lifted to full staff to signify hope and honor all our country's war and heroes. 
With the days becoming warmer, it is the perfect time to enjoy a cool treat. Here's Connor Rose with the details. Thanks, Ben. For today's This or That segment, Dylan Fry and Ben Amit asked students and teachers if they prefer popsicles or ice cream. Uh, ice cream. Popsicles. Also popsicles. I prefer ice cream over popsicles. I prefer ice cream better than popsicles. I prefer ice cream better than popsicles. Ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream. On a hot day, a popsicle. Any other day, ice cream. Ice cream all day, every day. Uh, I like ice cream better. I like ice cream better. Ice cream! Ice cream. If you would like to make your own popsicles at home, Elise LaClar, Allison Lippert, and Anna Kozich have a recipe for you. How to make DIY popsicles. First, cut up your berries. Next, put them in the blender. Then, pour some Sprite into the mix. Pour your mixture into the popsicle molds and put them in the freezer overnight to freeze. Enjoy. We hope you enjoy the sunshine and have a great summer. Back to you, Ben. Thanks, Connor. As we wrap up the school year, Gabby Amatucci and Madden Gresh asked students and teachers to share their favorite memory from the year. Our favorite school memory, sixth grade camp. Sixth grade camp. School softball. Making new friends. My favorite memory is taking the 8th graders to Kennywood at the end of each year. Volleyball season. Volleyball. Lacrosse season. Volleyball season. Thank you for participating in our Wildcat Insider segments this year. We end our show with a fun blooper reel. We hope you enjoy it. Meep. Mr. Fenton, because can I redo the Yeah. That was bossing. Thanks for tuning in to this at oh. <laughs> and Angelo and Angelo you <laughs> Okay, you got those links. <laughs> Hello, welcome to the Wildcat Insider, your source for stories from grade Oh, wait. <laughs> the junior high wrestling team had... Football. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pittsburgh Pirates. Wait, no. This is my big moment in the spotlight. Can you guys say something? Yeah. Yeah. Hurry up. This is my moment. Yeah, my, my five minutes of fame. Thanks for tuning into this edition of the Wildcat Insider. We hope you have a great summer.